let's just look at some of the most recent retail developments here at the airport. Just take us through some of the key highlights, if you would. So we have started a, a program in 2007. So the first phase was to refurbish the, the food court area. We needed more brands, we needed different light. We don't have, we don't have at that time natural light in the food court area. We needed some sense of place as well. We have put some olive trees, for example, some Portuguese styles, something that, that the passenger feels comfortable and feels good when, when they are at the airport. So at that time in 2008, we have finished the food court area. The second phase was to open the new uh, non Schengen area. So we have opened several shops, like Adolfo Dominguez, uh, like a pharmacy, like a new restaurant, also a duty-free uh, store with, a, with, with this new image that is operated by, by Nuance. And the third phase that is open this year it is a new duty-free and a new walk-through uh, concept of this duty-free store, also operated by Nuance, with different boutiques, with, diff with new brands uh, like Kiel's, like Mac, with a, with a very good brand awareness, especially for our destinations, uh, uh, Brazilian and Angola. And also, to add on this, the duty-free store and the walk-through, we had opened our seven shops. Lacoste, Zanha, Mont Blanc, uh, Polo Ralph Lauren, and also Ferragamo is the first Ferragamo in Portugal. We are quite proud about these and the results that we are obtaining. You've also got uh, to me as uh, a fashion boutique and a lovely chocolate lounge as well, well positioned, sitting next to the food and beverage area. The chocolate lounge, we try hard uh, to, to create new concepts and somehow we challenge our tenants and concessionaires to do it. If, if they cannot do it, we try to make bridges between the brands and the, the Portuguese operators. That, that's an example of, of, of this chocolate lounge. We had a contact of Godiva, Nehaus, and also some Portuguese uh, chocolate uh, players in, uh, here in Portugal. And so we have created together with, the, with our partner this concept. So I guess the question I have to ask is, has the investment actually paid off? Yes, it has paid off. Now we believe that uh, with innovation and doing things, that's the only way to go. And so we have innovated, we have realized that we had a gap in Lisbon Airport concerning the retail and the non-aviation areas, and so we are developing. For example, in, in, in this airport, in Lisbon Airport, we have grew more than 30% of our sales per passenger, so with, with the revamping that we have done. And total turnover is at what percentage? About 14%, I understand. The total turnover of the non-aviation is more or less 40%, yes. And we expect to be more. We have reached in 2011 15 million euros uh, of revenues. Made in Portugal is a very strong offer indeed, underpinning the belief that you have in providing a great sense of place at the airport. It's also been allocated a very substantial amount of space here. I mean, I know you've conducted a lot of research into your customer demographics. Did this help you when developing your overall retail offer here, um, as well as your online business? And then, of course, your most recently introduced app. The way to create sense of place or sense of uniqueness at the airport depends on three things. The first thing is about the architecture of, of, of the airport and the configuration of the airport. That's the first and probably the, the most, with the most impact of all the passenger perspective and view. The second one, creating this sense of uniqueness, is about the mix, the tenant mix, the new concepts that each airport has that others don't have it. And the third one is create this entertainment and cultural agenda. So we are, we are doing things in these three, let's say, uh, action, action plans. Concerning the, the mix that we are controlling and mix and the entertainment, we are doing several things in Lisbon, in Porto, uh, like not only flash mobs uh, that everyone is doing that, but also explaining, explaining um, what, what the passenger can, can, can see in the city or explaining the products that we are selling. In fact, telling the story of things. So the music, the gastronomy, uh, cultural cultural issues, all of that. Is, in, the, street, the strategy is bringing the city in the airport. So we are part of, of the city, of the region. 
and the airport has a, a very special and important role on that vision. It's essentially a first and last impression and you want to try to make it a very memorable experience for all the travelling passengers going through the airport. Yes, we, yes, we the airport belongs to this uh, tourism chain, so we are a part and we have to contribute to that experience. Let's go back to the app. Uh, just take us through uh, how important it is to you as a business um, and the success it's enjoyed so far. Yeah. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it has been a huge success. Uh, we, have, we were for a week in the top downloads of the Apple Store, so it means that the, the, the passengers are reacting to, and, and the, to, 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 that, uh, to that application, and so we are, we are very happy. But it is part, that is part of the online strategy that the company has. So we, we want to communicate, to have a, a two-way communication with, with the passengers. So we are, we are having the new uh, ANA site. We are having these new applications, new interactive platforms, also the new shopping online that we have already launched. All of that and also the, 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 the social network integration is part of the, our, our online strategy. So to create a different uh, communication, a, go to the, to the next level communication with our passengers. Two years ago, Ana Aeroportos de Portugal launched the Living Airport concept. But what precisely are its key component elements? The Living Airport concept, the principle behind it, is that it has to be the airports that has to adapt to the passenger and customer needs and not the other way around. Starting with, it, with that in mind, we have uh, creating services for each segment. So we have created uh, services for families, for groups of people traveling it in the airports, also VIP services and business services. So when, we, when you pass in our airports, we will find interactive uh, pods or living spots for different segments with different information about not only about flights, but about touristic sites, about uh, everything that the passenger needs. So how then are the passengers actually responding? They are quite happy with what they say. They are using a lot and we can monitor that in our online statistics. But if you go and to visit our living spots, you'll find that people are using it. People are using to charge their, their mobile, their iPads or PCs. They, they use it just to, to relax or to entertain. We have different games uh, for adults and children. So they are quite happy. The feedback that we are receiving is quite positive. In fact, this, this, this living concept is also to be an advisor, uh, a companion, or even a hero for the passenger. That's the main idea of it. That means that your database research has got to be very interesting indeed in terms of how you actually use it to develop new concepts here. In these living concept pods, we don't ask the name or the email or mobile for, for the passenger. But for in the airport shopping online is another program that we have launched in May. We are asking for that and we, we are creating a, a huge database that, is, that has a CRM a platform behind and that we will have a different, uh, let's say, uh, bidirectional communication with the passenger that we have never had before. Let's just move on to the retail income. Does Lisbon's success or otherwise actually determine the budgets for the other airports you're responsible for? Lisbon Airport is our main airport. We, we manage eight airports from Porto, Faro, uh, Lisbon, the, the Portuguese islands in Açores and Madeira. And so Lisbon represents around 60% of all our revenues. Each airport the passenger profile is completely different from Oporto to Faro. Lisbon is getting an app, uh, so traveling you know, uh, to South America like Brazil or Africa to Angola and Mozambique, all those uh, Portuguese uh, language speaking countries, so, and it's growing a lot.